how, how long do you think the other one was? Oh, you're going all the way to the floor. I'd go to that handle, you're going to run out of tape. Yeah, 100 and a half. Plus, what's 100 and a half and 42? Huh? 43 and a half. Yeah. 142 and a half. 100 and a half plus 42? 42. 42. Well, that must, not, and a half. must not be a 12 foot door. Is it 144 inches, 12 feet? Must be slightly under 12 feet then over there at the drive through. You said it just barely touched it, yeah. You want a persuader? Like a nugga dugga? Yeah. I think one of the stubby ones is right over here somewhere. We're on the way home last night, Landon's in the back seat, right? Dad said, I'll try to find a parts diagram for that trailer so we can look and see what that latch looks like, what it's supposed to do. Okay. Typed it in, Google Gator made parts USA, and I clicked on the link and titties and a cock pulled up. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and I said, Dad, you've obviously clicked on like some fishing link. It wasn't Gator Made website. So I pulled up Gator Made USA on my phone, their website, and I said, is this what it looks like? Well, yeah. Obviously, that was a wrong, wrong. So this morning, he gave us a demonstration. He puts it in Gator Made Parts USA. And the very first link on here is to GatorMade.com, their website. Instead of clicking on the GatorMade.com website at the top of the list, he scrolls down about 20 freaking links. So says, this is the one I clicked on, and it says, Gator Made Parts USA, it's all lowercase. And the URL above it is bigcock17 or something.com. Ah, no! And keep in mind, Landon's in the back seat. And this, this is the first conversation that we, this is the first thing out of his mouth. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Teaching old people the power of the internet. Yeah. Case in point. Yeah. Dr. Chop. Yeah. I like your grinder better than ours. Larger. <laughs> we screwed up and cut that one way too short. Yeah. The, it, hits the, <laughs> it hits the top. Yeah, it hits the sleeper. It's blowing right in the sleeper. He's if you get excited. He's he's feeding the cat. Yeah. He's already excited. Turns out 18 inches was too much, so we only well, cut six off this one. Well, yeah. My God, six inches been if it don't lack a little bit. Well, we wanted to make sure we didn't have the grain cart. Well, he's tall as the other ones, so why? Uh, he's supposed to away from that side anyway. So what do I do? Get new stack? You guys told me that. Well, yeah. we kind of think we just rob one out of the storage over across the road. It looks more like the Kenworth yeah, without a stack. Yeah, we will take stack off Kenworth. <laughs> huh? It looks more like the Kenworth without a stack. Yeah, yeah. it's eight to fix up the screw up. We're cutting both, cut both, both of them down. They're both the same. They're fine. Yeah, we were, we were joking. See, the there's the piece of the other one. Brad oh. cut this match. Brad had that one cut down before I even got here. Did you shine it? Mm-hmm. It's right there. Sure did. Uh, right there, see? Yeah. Spit on it. So we've had a slight change of plans first thing this morning. Just slight, just slight. So we still have a dump truck that has a little bit of wheat that we were gonna spread for a cover crop that we never got around to. So I am going to try to spread that now so we can get that dump truck empty. We actually need it for some gravel, the dump truck, because they're supposed to start on my basement tomorrow. And we need some, uh, uh, what was it, 57 wash gravel to backfill around the basement with. So, we need that soon. Got a couple landlords that want some gravel hauled on some lanes. So, we need a dump truck. See if this thing will start. I bet it's dead. <laughs> Like that one just blew a little puff of black smoke. Uh, the sprayer, it also does that. Pretty common when it's cold on farm equipment anyways. They're not using def when it's this cold because the def's froze. So until they get warmed up, it bypasses all that. At least that's my understanding of it. I'm sure I'm wrong, but I think that's how it, how it works. That's why you see a little puff of black smoke. Our fent does that, the combines all do that. Pretty much every diesel engine we have with depth still does that. Get my tape measure. Losing our whip before we lose it on the road. Probably just unscrews, doesn't it? Let's see if I remember how to run the floater. Park brake check. Reverse check. 
book behind us, check, bounce down the road for 10 minutes. Future check. Now these, uh, these big tires, when they're cold like this, they're very flat spotted, so it, it will be a, it'll be a bouncy ride for a little while. Dad just said we're having some issues with the electric on that conveyor again. Last month we used that thing and had to rewire it and apparently the wiring is uh, not holding up real well. Wonderful. found some lunch and came back and sprayers back already so a couple video videos ago we sent that thing to have some updates done to it I don't even know what they did to it but it's back that's good service so it's one thing we get asked about Oxbow's who services it they are a factory direct dealer program and we've had nothing but good luck with it so far had pretty good service out of them <laughs> Which is good because if it stays this warm, it's 60 degrees and sunny. Um, <laughs> we're gonna need that sprayer soon. You know what really grinds my gears? When I go back to one of my fields and I find donuts everywhere, it tracks through the whole freaking field. It should not anger me this much, but that really, really gets to me. That makes me very angry. Those are fairly fresh too. I don't know. Oh, that makes me so mad. Mm. There's dirt bike tracks too. I hate dirt bikes. I have lots of friends that ride dirt bikes. I don't hate them. I hate dirt bikes because of stuff like this. Mm. Makes me mad. That's the problem when you have a lane that's a couple miles long with no houses, kind of not really in sight too well. You end up being people doing like this. Finally done with that, so we're gonna head back to the barn. We are supposed to meet an electrician at the future shop site to go over to load sheet what we need, uh, I guess, to submit to our electric company as far as getting our transformer and all that good stuff for uh, the shop. Hate to be making payments on a building and not have any electric in it. Which it sounds like if we don't get on that and get that all in the works, that could be the case. Yeah, it looks like the storm's about to roll in. It's starting to get cloudy and hazy and it's getting colder. We were gonna start digging the basement today on the house, but the builder was worried that if we dig it tonight and then it rains, it would cave the sidewalls in before they could get it formed up, so that's why we decided to wait. They're hoping to dig and form before the next rain. So what do you guys think of the new trucks? I really am starting to really dig that color more and more. Do want to get some more shiny things on it though. Namely that bumper, I don't like a black bumper. Like a, that's just black plastic. If it was color matched or if it was chrome, I'd be up for it, but I don't like black plastic. This doesn't look good. We might take the wheels off and have someone shine them up. They're really tarnished where those trucks used to haul gravel. They've got a lot of, uh, I guess, gravel dust buildup or concrete buildup, something like that. I'm not real sure what it is yet. I was talking about how to do the wiring. If you guys wanted to do full conduit or just flexible conduit. There's a major price difference, cheaper on flexible. All right, folks, that's gonna be it for this video. Get our electrical plan kind of straightened out. Well, at least the first round of it. And getting some things lined up there logistically. Hopefully tomorrow we're starting our house build or the digging of the basement anyways. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So be sure to tune back in for that and we'll see you guys in the next one.